hello ladies and welcome back to the channel so i'm finally back and i am finally doing my very first review on something that i've tried for a very long time i've said that i was going to do different reviews and separate reviews individual reviews for each thing that i have tried over the course of my ttc journey let you know how i felt about it and things like that and then i didn't get around to it so finally we are here and i'm going to start with the thing that i have been asked about the most and that is my experience with pre-seed and so we're going to jump right into it. If this is your very first video, be sure to subscribe. If you want to, you know, follow my journey and just to hear more about TTC related things, because this channel is definitely dedicated to trying to conceive and the journey to becoming a mother. And uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. All right, so we're going to jump right into it. We're talking about pre-seed today. I'm going to be sure to include pictures and things like that so you have an idea on what I'm talking about. I am in a different area just in case you watch my videos on a normal basis and so yes please enjoy the surroundings the refrigerator and the uh, microwave and cart <laughs> and I'm also sitting in front of the terrace or balcony I guess is what you can call it and so if you hear any noise it's probably little kids because it's about their playtime outside at the school that's across the street but that's neither here nor there so I'm gonna jump right into it I'm gonna give you the pros and the cons and my personal experience and whether I recommend it or I don't um, but first I'm gonna start off with just the different information that the company gives you about the particular product so pre-seed is a fertility friendly lubricant and the reason why that's important is because if you are newly TTCing and prior to TTCing you have been using lubricant during your baby dancing time or extracurricular activities uh, and you want to continue to do that, you want to make sure that you are using a fertility friendly lubricant. Reason being is first and foremost, most lubricants contain spermicide. Spermicide is not very uh, pleasant to sperm. And if you're TTCing, then you definitely want to have them there. You don't want to be killing them. You don't want to be harming them. You're trying to get as many as you can. And so you don't want to use a lubricant that has spermicide in it because spermicide does harm the sperm. Um, and then two, you also want your pH balance to be aligned. So during your fertile time, your fertile window, um, they say that you're at about a seven, between seven and eight, and usually when you're using regular lubricants, they take it down to about four to five. And so the biggest thing is the reason why you don't want to use regular lubrication is because you are harming the sperm and you're killing them off and we want to get as many as we can. That's the moral of that story. And so there are several companies that have created what are called fertility friendly lubricants that don't contain spermicide, they don't contain products that will actually harm the sperm and they're also supposed to mimic your cervical fluids. And so Pre-Seed is one of the top ones. I do know offhand about three of them that are FDA approved for you to be able to use that are fertility friendly. Uh, the thing with Pre-Seed and other fertility friendly things is that the way that you uh, apply said lubricants is very different than if you were using it on a regular normal basis during the time that you were not trying to conceive. So just a couple of things. I'm going to tell you what the company says about itself. Right, so on the container of Pre-Seed, and I actually have a picture of it in my phone, it says Pre-Seed fertility friendly personal lubricant is for use when trying to get pregnant. Pre-Seed lubricant mimics your own fertile fluids to create the optimal environment for sperm on their journey. And so the big thing about Pre-Seed is the fact that it is mimicking your cervical fluid. Uh, so during the time while trying to conceive, there's a very specific cervical fluid that you are looking for, and it's called egg white cervical fluid or cervical mucus, uh, and it looks like egg whites, and that's specifically why they call it that. Um, so it says that this particular lubricant mimics the, lub the 
natural lubrication or cervical fluid that you would have in your body and during the time that you are most flu that you are most fertile and you are making this fluid it's supposed to be easier for the sperm to travel through it and that's the biggest thing so it says that pre-seed is supposed to be good and it's supposed to help with the sperm traveling freely up to where it is supposed to be so now as for pre-seed what it looks like what the price is and stuff like that so depending on where you go and depending on what state you're in uh pre-seed last i checked was about 27 dollars if you go to like rite aid cvs those type of places i believe you can get it in target for 18.99 and then as always if you look for things online and you have enough time before the start of your cycle but you can definitely get it much cheaper online i will leave a link to different places in the description box where you can order pre-seed if that is what you would like to do when you get the pre-seed it comes in a two it's in a little tube I'll be sure to show a picture of the tube and along with the tube comes applicators and so there are several applicators that come with it I'll also leave a card to a video that I did way back in the beginning when I started making videos one of my first cycles using pre-seed I will leave it um, up here so you can take a look back at that um, but it comes with little applicators so the applicators are probably about this long and they look about the size of a lightweight tampon so maybe like this or if you've ever used anything like monostat or anything where you're supposed to be putting whatever it is into an applicator so basically you take the pre-seed and you take the applicator and you twirl them on each other and you just squeeze the pre-seed into this applicator and so what you have to do is you have to insert the applicator into yourself and then you push the lubrication in and they suggest that you do that 15 minutes before the time that you are actually planning to do intercourse and the reason being i'm guessing is because they want to make sure that it gets into where it's supposed to be in enough time and so that's definitely different than the average lubrication that you would either apply to yourself or apply to your partner. Uh, so as for me, we're going to talk about the pros first and then we'll talk about the cons. So pro number one is the fact that it's fertility friendly and we're all on the CDC journey and we're all trying to make a baby and we don't want things that harm sperm. So that's thing number one on the pro side. Thing number two on the pro side is that it mimics your cervical fluid. And so if you feel like you're not producing enough of your own cervical fluid or you just want more or for whatever reason, everyone has their reasons, that's definitely a plus. Um, in terms of cons, my personal con was the fact that you do have to insert it 15 minutes before you're supposed to be having intercourse. And so that doesn't really leave for much spontaneity in terms of your sexual life or how you do things because you have to know at least 15 minutes before you are going to engage in any type of intercourse that you need to be able to use it. Uh, the other thing is that I feel like the applicator is very similar to tampon size-ish in some cases and i feel like it could be a little thinner considering that you're just using it to insert um the product and the last thing is the amount of tubes that they actually give you in the package because they give you a nice size tube of the actual pre-seed but then they only give you a limited amount of the applicators and then they don't want you to reuse these applicators and they don't sell the applicators separately so you would either have to go on amazon and find some applicators yourself or buy a whole nother bottle or a whole nother box of pre-seed in order just to get the applicators because they don't suggest that you reuse them. And it would be a little hard to actually clean them. And so those would be considered my cons. As for me and my personal experience, I use pre-seed for three cycles. Um, pre-seed says that there's only about a half of a percentage so let's say one percent half of one percent of all of the people that use pre-seed experience some type of irritation and so half of a percentage is literally very 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 little unfortunately for me i fit into that very very little percentage category I experienced much irritation when I was using pre-seed and the three cycles that I used it. And the only reason why it lasted three cycles is because I didn't realize until after about the second cycle that it was causing me the irritation. I did realize how it felt. Um, 
So I go to get ready to baby dance and everything would seem fine or before it'll start giving me this really irritated Bernie feeling or after it was it was quite the experience. Um, and so for me, I experienced irritation for it. But again, they say that only 0.5 of a percentage of people actually have that type of experience. So it depends on how sensitive or not your body is. They do say that if you're sensitive to other lubrications that you should be able to use this, but it really is kind of to each its own. One thing I will say about Pre-Seed is that although I wasn't able to use it for as many cycles as I might have liked to, Pre-Seed has a tremendous amount of success stories. There are a tremendous amount of people out there that have said that they have become pregnant after using Pre-Seed, so I do think that it is worth the try. It would be something that I would recommend. But one thing I will say is that if you're looking for a natural lubrication, then Pre-Seed is not going to be that. As will any other kind of lubrication that you find on the shelf, because the majority of these things have preservatives or parabens, as people say. And I know a lot of people are looking for something that's more natural that they can use just in life, whether it's lubrication or food or anything like that. So if you are looking for something that is super natural, you don't want to have want it to have any preservatives or anything like that, then Pre-Seed is not going to be for you because it definitely has parabens in it. So I just want to throw that out there so that you know As that. As for me, I recently purchased a different TTC related lubricant and I will definitely be doing a review on that in the future. I am looking forward to it because I have been really scoping out the ingredients and I've noticed that this particular lubrication does not have three of the ingredients that's in pre-seed and so I'm hoping that maybe one of those three ingredients were the things that irritated me and maybe I'll have more success in this other uh, lubrication and so I'll be sure to definitely do a video on that after I've used it because I don't think you can really do reviews and give people your true and honest opinion without actually using whatever the product so is. I'll leave a link below to Pre-Seed's website and also to other places where you can actually pro purchase Pre-Seed if that's what you like. Um, one thing I would like for people to do is if you have used Pre-Seed, please comment below and leave your reviews. Leave your pros, leave your cons, leave your success stories or your stories of non-success. But just so everyone has a versatile look at what Pre-Seed may or may not do for you. Again, I think when it comes to lubrication, it's kind of to each its own because everyone's body chemistry is different. And so there's no way I would have known that I would have been the one that had become irritated from using it. I wish that it worked because a lot of people have had much success in it, but unfortunately it did not work for me. Um, so there it is. This is my Pre-Seed review. Um, by the way, I will continue to do my review videos. None of these videos are sponsored. I just thought I might throw that out there. They're not sponsored. Precy was something that I purchased with my own money, as well most of the other things that I review um, over the course of time. I have been on this CTC journey for a long time, and so I do have a lot of different things to review. Uh, and so hopefully this helped, and it helped to give you um, an idea on how it works. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them below. As always, you know I reply back to everyone. All right, ladies, hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you soon.